Now on the APEC VIP hotline, cutting edge training for the serious athlete, APECGO.com, the head football coach of the John Tyler Lions, Rickland Holmes. How you doing, coach? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Doing great. Congratulations. Another win, this one over Frisco Centennial. Now you got two more to go, right? Yes, sir. Well, tell me about the win over Frisco Centennial, first of all. Oh, you know, it's one of those games that, you know, we, we came out strong and hard, put some sports up on the board early, and uh, got the game under control and just made sure we finished it out. Talk about Fred Ross's performance. He had 13 catches, three for touchdowns in the ball game. That's just him doing it what, he, what he's supposed to do and what uh, his athletic ability lets him do. He's a big receiver that's very talented and a, he's a good target for Greg to throw to. And uh, headed to Oklahoma State, how good can this kid be? Is he? Have you seen the best he can play? No, you haven't ever seen the best that he can play because, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those deals uh he hadn't really been tested yet. You know, he makes everything look real easy right now. And, you know, once the competition level goes up, he'll continue to go up and improve. And talk about the play of your quarterback, Greg Ward. Again, a 300-yard passing day, two touchdowns, and he rushes for 81 yards. That's exactly what real quarterbacks do. You know, not <laughs> athletes that are playing quarterback, but real quarterbacks. And he's been proving it every week for the past two years. So uh, I understand he had an injury late in the ball game. What's the situation now? Uh, he just re-injured an ankle that was, that had been tender, but he'll be back on Friday. Okay, so there's no worry about him not being able to play then. No, no worries at all. And yet, when he when he does come out of the ball game, then you put Tyus Bowser in and he throws a touchdown pass. Well, that just lets you know why he's the backup quarterback. Is the reason. <laughs> so he's able to step in there and do what Greg does and keep the game rolling and under control. Well, Coach, uh, talk about the, the confidence level of your team now. I mean, this weekend you played Denton Geyer. What do you know about them? Uh, very talented team. They have a very talented quarterback, or a very athletic quarterback. Uh, they have a big receiver on the offensive side of the ball. They have big linemen on the offense and the defense side of the ball and uh, some tough linebackers. Best team you've played this year, you think? They're one of the best teams that we played this year. Uh, of the teams that you've played so far, who would you say has been the best? Hands down, I would have to say Frisco and Mesquite Horn. Really? Yes. And not Lancaster? Well, you know, Lancaster's a very talented team. I, I think we came short of that because of some situations we put ourselves in. Got it. And how do you feel about the way your defense played the other night against uh, Frisco? I think our defense is playing great right now. They've been playing – great all year long and they're going to continue to play great now as you move on you've been through this before as a player and as an assistant coach but do you do you uh have mentors do you talk to people about preparation for state semifinals and finals and you know how to keep your kids sharp at this time of the year oh most definitely you know i I lean on i lean on the guys that's been there and done that and uh, the main one i lean on is my old coach coach alan wilson uh, another one that uh, has become a mentor for me is Coach John King at Longview, along really? with Coach Derek Rush. Really? How much do you spend talk, talking to uh, Coach King? Well, you know, I talk to him a lot about, you know, different teams that we uh, that we face and, you know, different ob- obstacles that uh, may come my way as a head football coach. And uh, he's always been there to answer the telephone, to uh, uh, reply to a text message and let me know, you know, the things that I need to do and not do so. Well, that's a great relationship. That's one I wouldn't have uh, expected. I, I expected to hear something about Coach Wilson, maybe Coach Rush. Uh, so has Coach Wilson, how much contact have you had with him recently? Uh, as a matter of fact, I talked to him yesterday about getting some stuff done that I needed done for this week. So uh, he helped me on that situation along with Coach King and Rush. You know, they helped me on some situation that I need to take care of. All right, outstanding. So uh, has Coach Wilson been able to come to any of your ball games? Yes, sir. He's been the Two things that I know for sure, and uh, I think he's been in a couple other more games. Uh, he just didn't let me know. <laughs> How cool is that, though, to have your old coach up there watching you? Uh, it's, a, it's a great feeling knowing that, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a Allen Wilson product, and, uh, you know, I'm out there doing, you know, what I've seen him do several times before, and, you know, just leaning on him and knowing that, that I have support from him and all aspects of this the deal. Does he give you a hard time about all this passing you do? No, he, he said you. 
different times, a different era. You know, the game has changed. Yes, it has. And what about Coach Rush? How often do you get to talk to him? I talk to him almost every week also. You know, uh, me and him, we, we have a close relationship. And uh, that, that comes, you know, from us working so close together and getting to know each other and understanding that, you know, we're all trying to accomplish that same goal, which is winning a state championship. Well, it, that's really neat that you're able to include these guys who uh, obviously Coach Rush was a big part of this football team, uh, being the coach last year, and then to have Alan Wilson and uh, all that he brings to the John Tyler history. Uh, it's really neat you've been able to include those guys. Yes, it has been, and it, it's been a treat and a, and a pleasure. What's been the most fun thing about all of this so far, Coach? Uh, the funnest thing about it is Friday night, you know, just – Seeing your kids go out there and do exactly what you've been coaching them to do all week long and getting those W's up under your belt. Now, you, now you realize being a first-year head coach now, you're, you're setting a pretty high bar for yourself here. People are going to start expecting this every year. Well, that's what I'm expecting every year also, so <laughs> we're all on the same page. <laughs> you're not worried about the pressure then? Oh, no, no. There's two things come from pressure. One, you buzz like a pipe that shouldn't have never been on there. A two, you shine like a lump of coal that becomes a diamond. I like that. I like that. What do you think is going to be the key matchup this weekend? A uh, key matchup would be our defense against their offense. I think, uh, you know, uh, if we continue to play like we've been playing against them, our offense will take care of the, the game by itself. Well, Coach, congratulations again on getting to the semifinals. Uh, just two more to go, and we're real excited to see Cujo, see if they can't uh, win those last two ball games. Best of luck to you. I appreciate it. Hey, Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Good talking to you. Rickland Holmes, the head football coach of the John Tyler Lions, headed to the state semifinals now on Brian Houston Sports Radio Live on 99.3 Talk FM.